bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the privilege he has given us to be together again. It is well with you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before we continue, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your kindness and for your faithfulness unto us. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercies. We thank you, Lord, for your eyes. Lord, are over us, perfecting all that concerns our lives and our families and our church and our nation. Lord, be magnified forever in Jesus' name. Here we are in your presence. We took our lives in the blood of Jesus Christ. And while that the blood of Jesus Christ will sanctify and purify our lives in Jesus' name. Father, as we go into your word, in this daily charge session, we pray. Come and bless us in Jesus' name. Father, open our eyes. Make us to behold wonderful things out of thy law. Father, and give us your strength and your power to put into practice all that you say to us. Father, that our lives be transformed. That that which you have designed for us, Father, will locate us and that our joys be full. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. Holy Spirit, divine, take absolute control. Powers of the enemy assigned to hinder us from getting what God has designed for our lives in this session. Holy Ghost fire, destroy them forever in Jesus' name. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Please bring out your own devotional, Mountain Top Life daily devotional, and open to where we have today being Monday, the sixth day in the month of May in this year 2024. The topic that is before us today says why people suffer from financial bondage, part four. Why people suffer from financial bondage, part four. And the memory verse that we have today comes from Galatians chapter 4, which says, Even so, we, when we were children, we are in bondage under the elements of this world. I will take it again, Galatians chapter 4, verse 3 says, even so, we, when we are children, we are in bondage under the elements of this world. A motivational quote says, if you want to be financially free, you need to become a different person than you are today and let go of whatever has held you back in the past. The prophetic word for today is, today, the liberating power in the blood of Jesus brings you out of financial bondage permanently. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And our fire scripture for today comes from Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 4 from verse 16 to 21. St. Luke's Gospel chapter 4 from verse 16 to 21. Please take your Bible and open with me to that particular place. Luke's Gospel chapter 4 from verse 16. I read in the New Living Translation. Jesus replied with this story. A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. When the banquet was ready, he sent his servant to tell the guests 
come. The banquet is ready. But they all began making excuses. One said, I have just bought a field and must inspect it. Please excuse me. Verse 19. Another one said, I have just bought five pairs of oxen and I want to try them out. Please excuse me. Verse 20. Another said, I just got married, so I can't come. Verse 21, which is the last verse. The servant returned and told his master what they had said. His master was furious and said, Go quickly into the streets and the alleys of the town and invite the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. God bless his word in our lives in Jesus' name. We are looking at why people suffer from financial bondage. Part 4. <clears throat> what is finance? Finance has to do with the management of revenues. It is the conduct or transaction of money matters generally, especially those affecting the public. Something is financial when it pertains to monetary receipts and expend expenditures, that is receiving and spending money. Something is financial when it pertains or relates to money matters, or when such thing is pecuniary in nature. What is bondage? Bondage means slavery or involuntary servitude. Bondage is the state of being bound by or subjected to something, some external force or control. Bondage is the state or practice of being physically restrained as by being tied up chained or put in handcuffs. Bondage is enslavement. Bondage is servitude. Bondage is yoke. Bondage is chain or subjection. Therefore, Financial bondage is a state of being enslaved to lack of financial freedom or being enslaved to lack of financial overflow. The following are more of the reasons why many people suffer from financial bondage. Number one, demonic gifts used as capital for business. If the source of the capital for your business is not clean, you will experience poverty or financial distress in that particular business. For example, if one gets money 
from adultery, from fornication, or from evil living. And then invest such money into business. You will find that the devil will put that person into financial cage because the money with which the person started that business is defiled because of sin. That is one of the main reasons why many people suffer from financial bondage. There is need for deliverance for such persons. We'll go for a short break and we'll be back. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available, Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. You are welcome back to Daily Church. God bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are still on to why people suffer from financial bondage, part four. Another reason for this suffering is unfaithfulness to a business partner. This also shall keep a person in financial bondage. When a person makes it a habit to cheat his business partners, when a person makes it a habit to be unreliable to his business partners, you find that the person is writing letters to the spirit of poverty. This is because the process of getting his intended wealth is not clean spiritually. There is serious need that the process of running your business is clean spiritually. Therefore, this particular point cover the issues like duping others in order to progress or duping other people in order to get wealth. Such acquisition shall ultimately be lost. And that occurrence will push the person back to square one. That shall not be your experience. That shall not be my own experience. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Another reason why 
So many Christians are suffering from financial bondage is the issue of mismanagement of funds. Mismanagement of funds. Some people make a lot of money, but they spend them wastefully on unnecessary things and luxury. That is the spirit of wastefulness. And this leads to poverty. That is inability to manage that which God has given the person. The person is dining with the spirit of the waster. And this is very bad. It is wrong. People who mismanage or misappropriate money that is put in their custody also belong in this category. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 9. It says that he also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Such persons eventually land in financial bondage. We must be careful how we manage the fund that is kept in our care. We must be careful how we manage the fund that God provides for us. We must not be brother to the waster. As Christians and as children of God, God expects us to be faithful and faithful stewards of his money and other people's money entrusted to our care. Luke chapter 16 verses 10 to 12 says, If you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large things. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. And if you are untrustworthy about worldly matters, if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? And if you are not faithful with other people's things, why should you be trusted with the things of your own? It therefore becomes clear that many people, they suffer from financial bondage because they have mismanaged and or misappropriated other people's money or fund. If you find yourself in this situation, you need to come to God in full repentance, confess your sins and ask the Lord to have mercy upon you and wash in the blood of Jesus and forgive you and give you another chance. Where it is possible for you to restitute, to pay back, you do so, so that your hands will be clean spiritually and the Lord will open a fresh page for you. The same is applicable to all those who say they are born again, they are children of God, they need prosperity, they need breakthrough, and yet they fail to pay their tithes to the Lord. They refuse to pay their tithe to the Lord. 
they refuse to give their offerings to the Most High God. These amounts to misappropriation and mismanagement of God's funds. The Bible is clear. Concerning this truth in the book of Malachi chapter 3 verses 10 to 12 where it says bring all the tithes into the storehouse so that there will be enough food in my temple, says the Lord. If you do so, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great that you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it. Put me to test, says the Lord. Your crops will be abundant, for I will guard them from insects and diseases. Your grapes will not fall from the vine before they are ripe says the Lord of heaven's armies. Then, all nations will call you blessed, for your land will be such a delight, says the Lord of heaven's armies. That is what happens when a child of God is faithful to God in paying his tithes, in paying his offering, in, in giving donation, in giving assistance in the work of God and to the work of God. You find that God Almighty who bless your finances, who bless all that you lay your hands on, and everyone will call you blessed because of faithfulness to God. We shall go for a short break and we'll be back soon. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live, for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9, a life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available, Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Yeah, welcome back to Daily Charge. It is well with you in Jesus' name. We are still on to the topic that says why people suffer from financial bondage, part four. Another reason, which is the last one we shall consider here for today, is the spirit of death. The spirit of death, activities of the spirit of death, is another reason why many people suffer from financial bondage. This has to do with sicknesses and diseases. Such can attack individuals and cause them to rush to hospitals where they spend a lot of money. 
wasting resources. Often, such challenges are caused by demonic spirits and powers that are on assignment to cause death. That shall not be your own experience in the name of Jesus Christ. That shall not be our experience. That shall not be our lot in the name of Jesus Christ. Unless such persons, such powers are terminated through strong prayers, through targeted prayers, the victim may be drained he may be drained dry and he or she may finally die. That shall not happen to us in Jesus' name. It shall not be our portion. Another reason why someone might suffer from financial bondage is living in demonic house. This can cause financial bondage. Where there are evil altars in a house, there will be traffic of demons in that particular house. This will cause hardship. It will cause poverty. It will cause difficulties. The solution is strong deliverance prayers. Where occultists and witches and wizards and evil people live, they pollute the place with their evil powers and evil spirits, thereby bringing causes and poverty to the people living there. Solution is strong deliverance prayers to break their powers. God bless his word in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray these prayers with me. Say them loud and clear with faith. Strong man of poverty and financial bondage. I am not your candidate. Die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Strong man of poverty and financial bondage. I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, I want you to pray like this. O oh God, arise and bring me out of financial bondage. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and bring me out of financial bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, arise and bring me out of financial bondage. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for answering our prayers. Father, let your word bear fruit in the lives of your children that have listened to you all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, every area of their lives where the enemy has held them in financial bondage, let those powers release your children right now by the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, launch your children into financial breakthrough and prosperity that they live to serve you forever. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
all the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.